Hi guys, and welcome back to another Cricut video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make business cards with your Cricut machine. All that you need for this project is some cardstock and you need a printer as well. We will also be using a few different tools and resources online. So let's jump right in. So first, what you want to do is to create a Canva account. Okay, you can design your business cards in Cricut Design Space if you want, but I just found it much easier to be able to go over to Canva and design your business cards. And plus, Canva has plenty of different options and templates for you to choose from. So here I am logged into Canva. Again, if you don't have a Canva account, there's a link down below that you can use to set up an account. Canva is free, but they also have a paid version and you just are able to access a few more images and graphics and things like that. But the free version is will do just as fine. So what you want to do once you have an account set up is create a design. And then here you can see business card. If this does not pop up in your list, you can just search business card up here in the top. And you can see that you have different options to choose from. You can do a rounded business card, a vertical business card, and a lot of different kind. Um, but you can choose this standard one right here. And this one is the horizontal one. So it's 3.5 inches wide by two inches in height. And so this is the one that you would click on. I have already set up a template over here and I'm just gonna walk you through how I did that. So if you just click on templates over in the left column, you can see that you can scroll through all of these different templates to get a feel for your design. I ended up using this template right here. So what I'm gonna do is to add a new page and just walk y'all through this. So what I did was to use this template. And as you can see, there's a front and back to this one because you will only be able to print and cut on the front side and not the back side. Um, you can just choose the sec second option, which is this one right here. So I clicked on that. And then what I did was to just change up my text, you know, put my business name inside outline. I deleted that part. Um, and then I switched the image over here. So I'll just walk you through what I did inside outline, deleted that part, bring this up a little bit. And then I centered both of these. Um, so I clicked both uh, the text boxes and held down the shift key while I uh, clicked both of them. And then you come up here to alignment and then you know keep clicking until it's centered. And then um, what I did was to take out the phone number and I put my email. And then I took out the rest of this text also. Let me go back over to see. So personalized party decorations. Okay, so I just put that in there. Okay, and then I will just bring this up a little bit and just make sure that it's centered within the card and that looks about good enough. And then what I did was to put let's connect. So I copied this up here and pasted it, drag it down here and typed let's connect. Okay, and then I'm just gonna drag this over a little bit. And then um, I think that's it, scan the code. Okay, so we'll copy this and paste it. And if you're using a Mac, you just do Command C and then Command V. If you're using a Windows PC, you want to use Control C and then Control V to copy and paste. So I'm just gonna erase all of this and put scan V. Move it over and make that text box a little bit shorter and then just bring this over. And that was all for this piece over here. I changed the image. So let me just go back to elements and I typed in party background and then just scroll through. I think this is the one that I use. This one is the Canva Pro. So I'll just keep scrolling until I find something that's free. I think up here you can, yeah, turn on the filters and then just choose free and click apply filters. So this is only gonna show me things that are free. So um, let's try this confetti. So just pull this over. 
and I'll delete this one in the back. So I'll select that one and just hit the backspace key. And for this one, I'm just gonna bring this down. I think that looks pretty good. And then I also included an arrow as well. So I'll type arrow, choose this one. And then I am going to, so right now, this is on top of my arrow, so just bring it over. And then change the color to black. So the last thing that we have to do is to get our QR code. So now I am over here in Linktree. Linktree is a um, platform that you need to be using if you have a Cricut business. And the reason why is because it's basically one link, but it allows you to add in multiple links as well. So as you can see here, I have a link to Expressions Vinyl. I have a link to my uh, Cricut Design Space tutorial. Um, I have a link to how to create SVG files in Adobe Illustrator. And I have a link to my YouTube and my blog and freebies and things like that. Linktree is free. Also, there is a paid version, but I currently use the free version. So I definitely recommend that you do that as well. Linktree is very easy to use. And again, I embed this, uh, my Linktree code or link on my Instagram page. And as you're gonna see here, I'm, we're gonna put this on our uh, business card as well. So when you're handing out your business card to people, um, you, not just, you don't only have just your website, but you have all of these different links that people can go to. Um, and something new that Linktree actually set up was um, a way for people to basically leave you tips and things. Um, I may record a video on that, um, but I thought it was pretty interesting. So I was like, why not check this out? Um, so yeah, that's a different subject. So right here, I have my link tree link. So what I'm going to do is to copy this link. Okay. And then I'm going over to the qrgenerator.com. I will have this link down below. So what I'll do now is to paste that link and then come over here to the right, click on these three dots. Oh, okay. Never mind the three dots. Click on this download button and then click SVG. And then you can also give it a name and I'll just put inside my QR code. And then click download. And then it's gonna ask me where I wanna download it and you save it wherever you want it and then click save, okay? So now what we're going to do is to come back over to Canva click the upload button, upload media, and then find that file on our computer. So once you have the file, you will click open and select that QR code and just bring it over. And then you can resize it if you want to make it a little bit smaller. And as you can see up here, you can change the color of either the black or the white. I think I'm gonna take off the white and just make it that same pink. And so I think that looks much better. So I will move up to scan the code and then move that arrow and you can rotate the arrow a little bit as well. And I think that looks good. So now what we will do is download this business card. So click the three dots in the top right, click the download button, and then you want to change it to a high quality PNG image. So select that. And I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm not gonna do my first one because, you know, um, I've already done that one. So you would select, you know, the um, business card that you wanna download and then click download, and then I'm just going to save this as inside outline, this card one, and then click save. So that is all the designing that you have to do. Now we're gonna jump right into cutting out your business cards. So go over to Cricut Design Space and open up a new project, and then click upload, upload image, browse, and then you wanna click on that um, business card that you just downloaded and then click open. I just choose complex. We won't be erasing anything here, but then just click continue. This is what the business card looks like and then click apply and continue. 
and then click print and cut image and then upload. Select that image and then click add to canvas. So this is what your business card looks like. Obviously it's much larger than what it needs to be. So we will just change this to 3.5 and it will automatically adjust to two inches in height. So then what you want to do is go over to shapes and then click a square. We're gonna um, unlock this and change it to the print then cut size, which is 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. And this is going to allow us to see how many business cards we can get on one sheet of paper. So I'm gonna right click my rectangle and then click send to the back. And then I'm actually gonna rotate this 90 degrees and then make a couple duplicates. Okay, so I will select each of these and click align to the top, and then I'm just going to group it. So then make a duplicate of this and paste it in there as well. So what I'm going to do is you just click on one of these and make a duplicate and then rotate it back to zero and see if I can get it down here. This may be a little bit of a stretch, but I had to give it a try. Uh, just to see if I could. So what you see is me just trying to move it up a little bit and I will zoom in so you can see. Um, so there's just a little bitty space at the top and at the bottom. So once everything looks the way that you want it to, you want to hide or delete the square. So I will just hide it, select all of my business cards and then click attach and then click the make it button. So this is what the business cards look like. The ones that you will see me cut are the first ones that I had designed, but this is the exact same process that I use. So then click the continue button, send to printer, use system dialog, and then print. And then you may need to minimize your screen. And you should get a print dialog screen that looks like this. Change it to best print quality and then click the print button. So what I'm gonna do now is to just show you the paper that I'm using, and then I'm gonna cut out the business cards so that you can see what they look like. So these are the business cards that I made first. And as you can see, I put that QR code on there. The back sides are blank, but that's just because of the whole print and cut method, which is okay because most business cards are blank on the back side. So um, this QR code takes people to my link tree, and I will be sure to show you how to do that as well. So all that you need for this project is some white cardstock and a printer. I do have an inkjet printer and my printer is a brother printer and it's an older model that they don't sell anymore. And quite honestly, I am looking for a new printer. Well, I have a new printer in mind, but I'm just saving up so that I can buy it. So what I'm going to do now is to put this cardstock into my printer. So as you can see here, my business cards have been printed and I'll just bring them a little closer so you can see them. And as you can see, I did get six of them on this one sheet. Maybe you can try, or I got seven on this one sheet. Maybe you can try to go for an extra one over here. I'm not quite sure if you'll be able to make that happen, but I had to struggle to get this seventh one on here. But um, try to get as many on one sheet as you can. The standard size for a business card is 3.5 inches in width by two inches in height. So what I'm going to do now is to put this onto my mat and cut out the business cards. Okay, so my business cards have been cut, so let's peel them off the mat. And you can see they're all still here. Okay, so as you can see, there are still, like on some of these at the top and on the sides, there are still some white lines. So if you have a paper trimmer, you can just go around and cut some of those edges off. So if you have a paper trimmer like this, you can just put your um, business card in there and trim off some of that excess um, color or paper on the top. So what I want to do now is to test out my QR code. So I have my business card right here and what I'm going to do is to scan the QR code. So I'll just click on my camera and then okay. 
you can see that message pop up so I'll just click on it and as you can see this is the link tree uh, link that we added earlier and as you can see I do have links to different um, social media platforms and different products that I sell so overall, I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial on how to create your own business cards using your Cricut machine. And I also like the fact that whenever you put a QR code, it just allows you to get more links and get your different products and social media in front of customers. And it's not like you're just putting your website down on your business card. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.